hi then everybody we're gonna start with the cardiology and the valvular virgin we're gonna start with the uh, infective endocarditis which may affect a native valve acutely and the uh, staph aureus will be the most common or sub acutely and the alpha hemolytic streptococcus will be the most common or maybe affect the uh, prosthetic valve early and the staph will be the most common or lately and the alpha hemolytic streptococcus will be the most common infective endocarditis and IV a, a drug abuser will affect the right side and the S aureus will be the most the most common a organism a ma on the on pathology mass of fibrin a platelet clone of bacteria will destroy the valve fever and chills will be the most common symptom new murmur and CHF will be the most a uh, common uh, sign. Uh, examine for a uh, vasculitis on the scan for petechia or under the nail for splinter hemorrhage, for painful node, which is the ostler node, and for pain, the smacule on the palm or saw for the a uh, chainway lesion. Fundus of the eye the, for the rough a uh, spot, and diagnosis made by a uh, Duke. A criteria which is the two major or one major and three minor or five minor not that for a non-infective endocarditis such as marinetic or the Lehman sac which is the most common cardiac manifestation of SL the treatment of IE will be a uh, pingy or nafcelin or vancomycin the first valve we're gonna study is the uh, mitral stenosis and the clinical a uh, presentation will be a uh, dyspnea on exertion, orthopnea, and atrial uh, arrhythmia. A patient may develop a malar flush, which usually correlates with the severe uh, mitral stenosis. On examination, a swan will be uh, accentuated. Uh, and the other thing is the diastolic crumbling murmur of a uh, which follow the opening snap. A LA enlargement may give you the uh, characteristic uh, dysphagia. The next valve is the uh, MR, which may be acutely, okay, acutely, and there is a pulmonary congestion, or the chronic MR give you the sign of low cardiac output. A, in a chronic decompensated stage, both EDV and a ESV a both a, are increased, and the preload and afterload deduction will be be useful for the patient. The murmur of an pan-systolic uh, with radiation to the left axilla and with severe MR the S3 will be uh, appreciated. Uh, the most common presentation of aortic stenosis is angina and uh, on, on auscultation the crescendo decrescendo stolic ejection murmur is appreciated in the second row intercostal uh, space. Uh, AR, on the other hand, this is the most common, uh, and the uh, decretion of the aesthetic murmur, murmur with the Austin of Land uh, murmur. Most MVP patients are asymptomatic, others have a palpitation, syncope, or chest pain, and the characteristic mid systolic click, which may fall by EMR. 